Hey, so I'm back with another how-to video. I haven't made one in a while. It's been about seven months. So I figured I would make another one. And I was thinking, I've had my injury my whole life, but I was thinking, there are people out there that have learned to do things with both hands and then later couldn't because they sustained an injury to one of their hands so they have to relearn how to do most activities so I was thinking if I was in that position what would I struggle with and what is one of the first things I would want to know how to do and I was thinking I would probably want to know how to dress myself properly so buttons are a big obstacle when you can only use one hand because I struggled when I was a little kid to try to button my clothes my mom would always have to do it but I learned some techniques on how to do it and I'll show you that so I'll start off with a dress shirt and I'll throw this on and there are um, some tools that you can use to help you out like there is this handle that I I think I still have it I have no idea where it's at though um, it has a curved wire on it where you can put it through the little holes in the shirt and hook around the button and pull the button through. And I would say that's a good thing to practice with, but I'll show you how to do it without the aid of anything else. So I'll come in kind of close. Uh, might be a little hard to see, but uh, there's the button and there's the hole that you put it through. and. What I start, how I start is I'll overlap them and I'll put my thumb, I'll feel around and put my thumb on the side of the button, put this finger and this finger on each side, lift it up and push it and pull back the fabric off the button with these two fingers. And that does it and I'll show you a bit faster with this one. So there you go. And that'll take a bit of practice, but shouldn't be too complicated after you get the hang of it. And the next thing I'll show you is pants. And one thing I will say about pants is one thing you can do is get pants that are big on you so because they're really easy to button and then put on a belt over it. and. The belts I'd recommend are the stretchy belts because you can uh, get them on easier, especially if you can only use one hand like me, and uh, that typically works out pretty well. But uh, it's the same type of principle with pants. Uh, so I won't actually put them on, but I'll walk you through it. So you put on the pants, and what I do is I'll grip this side with these two fingers and the other side like that and pull them tightly together and overlap them and what I'll do is I'll put my thumb on the top of the button like that and hold on to this side with these fingers and push down with my thumb while holding the sides of the hole with these two push it through like that Alright, so that's how you do that. So now, if you want to wear like a tuxedo, something with a bunch of buttons on it because you have to go to a wedding and you want to go to the reception and eat all the cake, now you have the style to do it. So if you have any more ideas for future videos, just let me know in the comments and I'll check them out.